Guys, it's time to power up the Outcast 8S and go do some backflips and donuts. <laughs> and the best part, Mark Perella is going to be driving. It is his truck, right? He should be driving it, right? Take a look. Get over there first. Hold on, Joe. Yeah, we don't have the ramps yet, so. Uh, well, what we'll to make do what we got. I want to laugh you cartwheel this thing on the oh, first I, jump. I expect the cartwheel. Thing looks good, man. There's That's no water. Stock gearing, it is slow. Wow. Now yeah, you caught the down landing, good. Yeah, it does. Don't make me want one of these, please. Yeah, they're at like 35%. We can get to the uh, ESC. Nice! <laughs> okay, we got fresh batteries in this thing. And it is ready to go for a little speed run. This is with a stock pinion and all that, so I haven't touched anything. All right, Mark, looks like the road's clear. How far can you go before it dies? I don't think it'd be real right there. Right there? Nobody? No, you're good. All right, let's see what you got. Then we'll get the big pinion on there, maybe. You think 40? Let's see. Ah, 44.8. Oh, so almost 45. 45, like this out on the internet. Now we get to play with the pinion gear and some ESC settings. Nice. Heck yeah. In the meantime, Mark is setting up the new 23 tooth pinion gear. These are the settings that I had on my Creighton before I swapped out to the castle stuff. So. These are the same ones that we're going to set up on his. I know I read a lot where guys are having good luck with 11.25 timing, but, uh, well, we're just simply going to go to the 7.5 big pinion and have some fun after the speed run. All right, dude, let's go uh, see what you got here. Oh, Punch, oh, yeah. Punch is turned up, big oh, pinion, yeah. uh, the timing at 7.5. This thing should be a whole new beast. Oh, brake, finally, dude. Yeah, you got brakes now. We turned that up to 75. <laughs> Man, look at that. A lot better. All right. Okay, we're about to get this. Now, this is still at the 44.8. That should read a lot faster here in just a few seconds. All right, Mark, it looks like we're clear. Right there. Sure. See a car coming. Hold up a second. Uh, peel off to the side. Here we go. Hold on, dude. <laughs> Guardy got me all messed up. Yeah, we're still clear. It looked good. Can you get a pass coming back? It looked like you didn't really get it topped out. That looks better. Those tires are actually pretty nice, man. I say 53. Let's see. Uh, we got 47.1. Plus the batteries aren't all the way. You wanna swap them out? See if we get another fresh battery set in there? Probably, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Kind of weird. You gotta squeeze a trigger on these on the on the, on the radio. Well, you, of course you gotta squeeze a trigger. No, it's like it's uh like like on the Futaba. You barely even 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 molest the the, the trigger and, and it starts to let's, go. Uh, let's get your battery wires in. Oh. That adapter is kind of hanging things out a little bit. There we go. Maybe that'll. Hold. You know, you know, the whole time when I was running it back this way, I was seeing my freaking car hitting that damn mailbox. Oh yeah. I would have got it on video. I know you too. would have laughed at me too. I would not. So rude. I would never laugh at you crashing a brand new nine hundred dollar truck. Such a joke. As long as my GPS survived. Such a joke. Did you see my speed run with the crawlers? Yeah. That darn Wendigo flip, yep. flip every yep. time. Okay, we're dude. Again. We're we're at, yeah, we're clear. Let's see if you got. Oh, here comes a guy. All right, we'll let them get by.
All right, here we go. Yeah, give it a good long straight run. Let that thing really top out if you can. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, there's a car coming. I don't know why we have all this traffic. <laughs> you want 50, right? Well, you're in luck. 50.8. Yes. <laughs> you got 50.8. All right, that was better with the fresh batteries. Now, the other batteries were new. You think maybe that couple quick runs? Well, we're running only at a, at a, what, a 25C on this thing in these batteries, right? Yeah, but we know there's no battery over 30C, no matter ah, what's on well. the sticker. Okay, let's go have some fun. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, just for the heck of it. We got to check my crate with a castle. 40 tooth pinion, stock spur. My buddy Mark is doing the driving. Stay away from that mailbox post this time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we don't need that. Don't say this time. I never got close to the other time. You need, well, you got within 10 feet, I saw it. I'll give you a 10 foot punch. Oh, hang on a second. We got a big old cheese Ooh, wagon coming. Cheese wagon coming. All right. Let's see what. My old crate can do. I'm kind of curious if it fits as fast as okay, yours I'm now. Here, here comes a, yep. That looked pretty good. No, he's gone. It almost sounds like when the tires are flopping, don't it? Yeah, it does. I didn't bring any uh, Ready? tire glue, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Well, we're gonna find out. I've never done a speed run on pavement. Not with these. Well, it's faster. 51.4. <laughs> barely. Dude, barely one mile an hour more. Barely. Wow. All right, now we really do get to go have some fun. Okay. And just for the heck of it, we have the GPS on an X-Max. So let's just see what this thing's got. Now this has the Hobbywing 800 KV with a 45 tooth pinion gear and what's your spur gear? 46, 46 tooth spur gear? Or 46 spur, 45 pinion. Oh wow, so you're almost one to one. This thing should be moving pretty darn quick. Now let's see if the... Oh no, it's 53. 53, 40. It'll make a 53. Or is it the 52? I don't know. Anyway, oh, no, I can't remember. It, anyway, it has a 45 tooth pinion gear on it. Let's see what he's got here. Let's see if he can keep it straight. Oh, that thing's moving. That thing's moving, dude. Oh, that thing's fast. Let's see what you got here. This is gonna be cool. We only got like basically 51 with the Armas. All right, let's see here. Fifty-three. You're barely faster than the Armas. It's a fifty-four forty-five right now. Okay, so you got the 54 spur, 45? Yeah, so I can go 46, 46. So you can get more out of it, okay. Yeah, I can get a lot more out of it. All right, well, okay, speed runs are done. All right, guys, for some more bashing, we're bashing all three. That one's got a big hobby wing, Mark's a stock, and mine's got the castle. They all run right at about 52 miles per hour, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Oh. There we go. I gotta use the ramp on mine for in the wind. <laughs> wow. Mark it barely gets those back flips. Oh! 
Good save, dude. Barely got mine. Okay, the ramps are uh, in bad shape. Oh man, all jacked ramps up. Ramps are in bad Hell shape. Yeah. <laughs> X Max with the backflip. Got it. Okay, I'm trusting Mark. up there oh, oh that's so lucky. hard landing on that back end though oh man Fresh batteries. And oh. oh! I broke it. I heard it. Wait a minute. I was talking about the fresh batteries. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I landed hard on that, that one. That was a hard landing. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I broke the pin. Uh, Bro, that, that part, yeah. You basically shattered the arm. Yep. I had my hopes up since they redesigned these arms, too. That was a hard hit no matter that what, a, no matter what it was, hit. dude. That was going to be a hard hit. That was, that was a hard one. Huh? Oh, your shock shaft's bent, too. Oh, nice. That's a good yeah, hit, you dude. straight that out with a hammer. Yeah, just whack it with a hammer. But use a brass one. Yeah. Well, heck. That was awesome. Dude, somebody that was stole awesome. my brass hammer. <laughs> that was awesome. I don't care who, what you say. Well guys, what do you think? Personally, I think the truck is awesome. Uh, Mark enjoys it, loves the thing. We got the speed runs in, and we got X-Max and my Creighton. Now it's currently raining outside, everything's still loaded in the car, so decided to put the Mojave up here for you guys. Now, uh, the truck ran really good. We, I mean, we were checking temps. You know, back and forth, uh, we bumped the timing up to 11.25, and that was when he kind of landed. Those trucks just really do not like at all a down corner landing, either front or back. So it just kind of shattered that arm. He's not mad. He's not upset. He had a blast with it. And guys, that's what bashing's about. You're going to break when you're doing that kind of stuff. Just buy some more parts, fix it, and go back out and have fun. It's as simple as that. Guys, the truck is absolutely awesome. Hey, I got to drive it a little bit, and it's got me thinking about doing the short wheel base on my Creighton now. It's, uh, it was a lot of fun driving that thing. The tires actually seem to be pretty darn good, actually. Now, I'm thinking about the M2C chassis for mine. So, I may check those out, see how that is. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Um, sorry we broke it on the first real drive. But anyway, it is what it is. 
Check that description for links. eBay, Amazon, A-Main, uh, Walmart, Red Cat. They're all down in there. They're affiliate links. Use those links to check out with whatever's in your cart or buy whatever the link takes you to. Not sure what I'm going to link up for this video, but there are links down there. So check those out. Make sure you're subscribed and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.